I forgot my GoPro at the high school and thinking it was gone forever. I was happy to find these kids turned it in and left these pictures on my GoPro. You kids are awesome. Hajime! So the depression vlog was terrifying for me. I'll talk more about it in the future. I'm almost thinking about uh, discussing s that type of stuff maybe in every rest week and just call it the Sean Francis vlog. We'll see what happens. I got a lot of messages from people. Some people were just coming out of a depression. Some people overcame it. Other people were in their fight currently and still fighting it as they were emailing me. Some said they already knew what the secret vlog was gonna be because there's this weird sense that you can kind of sense someone has it once you've been through that crap because it's familiar. <laughs> so I got a lot of those. Some were reaching out for help because they knew somebody who has it or uh, they have it themselves and didn't exactly know what to do. And some were just very kind words and uh, a lot of really kind words, which surprised me. Because I thought I was going to get a backlash and you guys would unsubscribe. <laughs> That's really kind of what I thought, which I was like, meh, I guess I made a mistake. No matter what it was, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who sent me a message. And uh, the offer's still on the table that if you ever need anything, you're just an email away. I got your back. So let's get caught up, because I kind of missed a week. We're in specific prep. We went from general prep to specific prep. So if you guys are kind of learning anything from these vlogs, specific prep means the intensity is a little higher and the volume is down. And we're doing more sports-specific type exercises. The warm-ups have more sports-specific entities in it. So we went from a lot of accelerations, now we're doing speed development. So the sprints are a little longer. The plyos, instead of being a lot of little taps, contacts, because uh, that's how I count the plyos, about how many times your foot contacts the ground, you do just, you do a lot less with higher intensity, like these little box jumps. Weights is kind of the same as the plyos, instead of the volume being really high, the volume drops down, but the intensity shoots up. So instead of doing like eight sets of two at a lighter weight, maybe we're doing nine sets of one at a heavier weight. Uh, kind of the idea, short and sweet. So let's get to the pole vault stuff. Because this is a pole vault vlog after all. Let's talk about the pole vault. So if you've been following my Instagram or Twitter, uh, you might have seen some pictures a few weeks ago that showed a pretty sweet picture of a narrower grip, a picture of the pole vault the way it's supposed to look, according to pole vault books. Like Ginner to Boopka or coaches or other people. And I thought it looked pretty awesome too. Except for the next four days, I had extreme terrible shoulder pain. So that was frustrating. A little background on me. In college, my coach Stevie Keller was very, very Petrov model. A uh, very Russian style pole vault. And it worked. It made me jump really high. I went from a 15 foot high school kid to a 17 foot college kid. Put a lot of it, put a lot of the credit into the Petrov model. Uh, problem though is my shoulder exploded. <laughs> uh, I was very Petrov for a very long time. It's still am. Maybe I'm 80% open in the rest is Petrov. Yeah, I'm 80% open in the rest is Petrov. I'm 100% physics. So if Petrov talks about physics, then I like physics. So a few weeks ago when I had the vlog about posture, uh, David Butler, Dave Butler from Rice, the Rice University coach emailed me. He was like, hey, I got some pole vault gymnastics and posture stuff if you're interested. Heck yeah, I'm interested, let me see those. And so he sent it, and then um, at the end of our email conversation, he goes, yeah, if you ever want, send me uh, your, like, your three best jumps and uh, I'll pick one part for you. I waited a couple days after I watched some of those videos. Hey, yeah, if you're, still, if you're still offering, I will send you some videos. And I sent him three videos, um, like my U.S. champs jumps or something like that. Two seconds in, he I got an email back saying, Are you sure you want me to rip these apart? I was like, yep, go for it. 20 minutes later, I got an email full. A big, huge email with a, it, like 10 huge things of stuff that I suck at. <laughs> and that could be use some fixing. And that was before I even got into the air. <laughs> you asked for it. Sorry, man. I'm like, no, I really appreciate it. Sometimes I just need those options or reminders of 
other ways to do it because you kind of get trapped in your own thing if that's all you're stuck with all the time. So it was nice uh, reminding me of some of those old ideas. So those are in the back of my head. Don't worry, this is going somewhere. So let's go back to the story. Narrowed my grip, huge, terrible shoulder pain. Here's why we changed the wide grip. Ready? Wide grip, good. I could control the pole really easily, and I had no pain. But the bad part of the wide grip was, it was hard to swing. It's hard to swing with the wide grip. I had a poor pull carry, and I had poor plant posture because of that. So we narrowed my grip. And my posture was awesome, and my plant position was awesome, and it created a good swing. Yeah! But I had pain, and I was on smaller poles, a lot smaller poles and I lost all control on the top end of the vault. So now we're back and we're like, shoot, how do we get the narrow grip awesome vault with the wide grip no pain vault? Kinda hit me. A combination of Dave and Caroline and uh, my old ways I used to vault. It was like, what if we widen my grip for control, but with the wider grip, we planted with the elbow out. That way, instead of the arm getting stuck into the back of my shoulder socket, it would go above my head, the way a shoulder is supposed to work. So it would create a bigger stretch reflex, allowing for that better swing, bigger pulls, no pain, and I was allowed to jump higher. So we tried it, and the first day, Caroline had a little meat, and all my poles got small. Yeah. <laughs> I accept. Still a late though. Still late, but it's really late your legs then. Right. Like medium late, they just come apart. <laughs> Sarah, come here, mate. You're gonna be so hard on yourself. Whoa! I didn't teach you that. You okay? The next day, they were still small. We were jumping on big poles again. And so it was working. Uh, two days with that new grip, and I got back up to 15.7. Like he knew the camera was on. That was better. 15.7 jump by the end of the day. Uh, and had some two really good cracks at 16.1. I actually like that one a lot. But practice was over, so it's on its way again. And I'm pretty excited about that. So we had four weeks of frustrating, painful pole vault sessions. Uh, on top of that, I was overtraining again. And I can't seem to figure out how to not overtrain. But that has been happening for uh, since I've been doing this. And I look back at my journal and it says, You're dumb. Don't overtrain. You're overtraining again. But I don't have a coach telling me that. But I'm coming up with some ideas to try and help me with that. Overall, progress is being made and I feel like I'm back moving forward again. Okay, a little housekeeping. Um, I have a camp in Michigan. Uh, this Saturday. So if you guys are around the Michigan area and want to do a camp, I will post uh, the flyer in the description below. So check it out. Come say hi to me at a camp. Come do the camp. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. Come do the camp in Michigan. Secondly, I'm putting another link in my description for a buddy of mine, Brandon Doyle. He is from Ireland and he is making a run to be on the, I think, down at the skeleton team for the Winter Olympics. He's doing exactly what I'm doing, except instead of pole vault, he's going down an ice, ice death chute head first which is awesome. Go check him out on Facebook. I'll put his Facebook and his uh, fundraising site in the description. Go tell him I sent you there and maybe tell him a dirty joke because he's Irish. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Sean Danger Hoot, and go to Zazzle.com slash Sean Danger Hoot. It's Christmas after all, and you look great in a Team Hoot outfit. A whole outfit. Get the whole thing. Get everything. Team Hoot. Everything.
everything. Join my team. I'm also made Hoot Crew shirts that are being made. I will. S th those Hoot Crew shirts are. I'm making them yearly. So I'm not gonna put them on Zazzle. Those are being sold straight from my house and they are going to be awesome. I'm really excited for them and I will sell them at meets as well, including Reno if I go to Reno. Should I go to Reno? You guys should let me know. I'm trying to figure it out. It's my rest week so I'm resting and I'm probably gonna test and vault once and then uh try and finish that freaking website that's taking forever. I should probably put up some Christmas lights behind me. I will do that. I love you guys. See you next week. Okay, bye. It was fun. Thanksgiving. I love and hate Thanksgiving. Here's why. Because I have my master's in health nutrition and exercise science, and it just reminds me that in this country we like to overeat and be lazy. So we eat a whole bunch of food, and then we sit on our butts, we watch football. So we're sedentary, and we overeat. I'm gonna celebrate Thanksgiving the same way my ancestors did. I'm gonna invite my neighbors over, feed them a bunch of delicious food, and then I'm gonna kill them and steal their land. Yeah. I'm gonna change my way of thinking and look at it like Thanksgiving is a time just to spend time with your family and just be thankful for everything you have. I think you should do that every day. If it takes one time a year to force people to do it, great. Thanksgiving is pretty sweet. I'm slowly changing my thoughts on Thanksgiving, even though... Pilgrims. <laughs>